Hey guys, my name is MJ, and this is basically a video response to Wings of Redemption's challenge to beat the Golems of Amorak DLC for Dragon Age on Nightmare difficulty with a new character. Uh, now, before I go any further, I have to say this is my first commentary, and uh, it will inevitably suck. Sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just gonna suck. So, yeah. Uh, this is only my second playthrough of this uh, DLC. I played it once before. Uh, with a level 35 character, and even then it was kind of challenging. I died a couple times, but uh, it's nowhere near this difficulty. Uh, so I decided to go with a uh, Rogue Archer, because they're a pretty high DPS class at range. Uh, I've, I've heard that you can beat this uh, DLC with a level 20 character uh, that has to be a Arcane Warrior, basically. Uh, I've never seen any videos of anybody doing it. Uh, I try to look up videos. Uh, on YouTube to see if anybody's done it before. I saw someone start uh, the game with a mage, not an arcane warrior, but just a mage, uh, level 20, and uh, but they never finished it. I think they got like four videos in, uh, and, and and they never got to the end. So I haven't seen any videos of anybody doing it, but uh, apparently you can do it with an arcane warrior. So I, I didn't want to use an arcane warrior, and they're kind of a cheap class too. I mean, uh, to have more physical resistance than a warrior, I mean, come on. That, that's just a bit ridiculous, but uh, I don't know. The rogue archer is kind of kind of a cheap class too. They they have really high damage output. Uh, it can be pretty ridiculous. So uh, I wanted to put as many points into dexterity as possible. Uh, I put 22 cunning uh, in order to get level four stealth. Uh, that kind of plays a role into the game. I, I guess I should have used stealth better in the playthrough. Uh, I, I didn't use it too effectively though. Uh, there there you go. There, I'm picking it. Uh, it does play a role, and I do get a uh, level 4 ranger. Uh, to have a bear out on the field at all times doesn't really do much, uh, but it does serve an important role, and that is uh, distraction. And it does a really good job, especially against the harvester fight. It plays a really key role. It doesn't seem that important, but I don't think I could have won the fight without that dude. So there you go. I'm picking my uh, my talents. Choose the first, second, and fourth tree of the archery. Uh, the third tree, uh, I find the talents not that useful. And uh, for my second specialty, I take Legionnaire Scout. Uh, they do get a Constitution bonus and I think a Strength bonus, uh, which is really not that important, I guess. Uh, if you have accuracy on, I think uh, your Dexterity really contributes to your damage. Uh, I'm not really sure. This is my first time playing this class. So you're going to see me make a lot of mistakes with it. Uh, I I'm, not too good I'm not too good with it. You can tell. I'll point out some of the mistakes I make uh, since it is my first time uh, playing an Archer as my main character. Okay, as you see, I, I, I skipped the cutscenes, you know, this would be a really long playthrough if I left all the cutscenes in and left all, all of my deaths in and all of my mistakes. Uh, but as you'll see, I, I do show the difficulty before or after every fight just to show you guys it's still on Nightmare Difficulty. And right here, watch this, 349 damage. That's exactly why I chose this class. It, it just gets pretty ridiculous. Now here, watch this. This, this is just stupid right here. That shows you I've never played the class before. If you don't know, your first hit out of stealth is an automatic critical hit, and right there I turn on critical shot. So basically, uh, I wasted a free critical hit, uh, and you're gonna see me do that several times throughout this playthrough. Uh, I really don't don't get the hang of this class until almost a harvester fight. Uh, you're gonna see me do that stupid move several times. So right here, you see me uh, showing the difficulty. You know, I'll do that, like I said before or after every fight. That's the last time I'll mention it, cause you know. No point in mentioning it every time you, you can see it on screen for yourselves. Uh, I think after this fight right here, I changed Jarek's build. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, what the book's called or something. I, I don't know. When when you start the game, uh, it gives you a, a book. I think it's called Memories of the Warden, wh which you could basically use to uh, reset the stats of your character, which is you know kind of pointless for the character that you just created. So I use it on Jarek to change his build, and basically I'm gonna duplicate. Uh, the build that I'm using right now, which is a, a rogue archer. So basically, I'm gonna have uh, you know twice the firepower with uh, Jarek helping out. Uh, I kind of mess up his build a little bit. Uh, you know, he needs strength, a certain amount of strength, to wear the armor that he has on. Uh, I didn't factor in the fact that you know he's wearing a ring that you know contributes to strength and also the uh, the legionnaire scout bonus that uh, gives him a strength bonus, which you, you can use to equip the armor. And I, I give him too much strength. I also mess up on his talents. Uh, I give him level 4 lockpick. 
I thought he needed the skill in order to unlock some of the upgrades for the uh, the golem that you get later. <laughs> Apparently you don't. You just I guess you just need a low character to open all the uh, the chests or, or nothing at all to open those upgrade chests. You know the reason I, I give him level four lockpick skill is uh, the default class skill that they they give him has level four lockpick, and I figured you know why would the developers give him level four lockpick if he didn't need it or you know you didn't need it to open chests in this game. And uh, apparently, because they're asses, you know, they just they just want to waste talents and uh, make the game more difficult for you. So, uh, yeah, messed up his build, and uh, <laughs> you'll see me using that same stupid uh, stealth criticals. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about that. that. That was really dumb. Anyways, right here is an example of uh, <laughs> many fights in Dragon Age. You, you really want to fight on your own terms. Uh, right here, I just use uh, Snug to uh, to basically corral everybody in. You know, you don't want to rush into every fight in Dragon Age. Uh, if you rush into this fight, you know, the Revenant will uh, separate at least one of your party members from uh, from everybody else, and the Arcane Warrior over there will uh, basically rape the rest of your party uh, with uh, whatever spells you have. These guys are usually spamming all sorts of things like Chain Lightning and Blizzard and who knows what the hell. But uh, here, this is what I want to use stealth for, is uh, just use Arrow Slaying and stealth at the same time. Unfortunately, I, didn't, I misclicked the Revenant, but that'll give you a lot of damage uh, as opposed to the critical shot, which is a waste. Okay, so basically I clean these guys up and uh, and the Arcane Warrior, uh, excuse me, the uh, Arcane Horror is uh, pretty much free pickings at this point, you know? Just rush in there and, uh, you know, he doesn't have backup, you can just kick his ass and snug, man. I, I gotta say that this is one of my favorite uh, companions. Even though he's not a companion, he's a he's a pet or a minion, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> he's got to be one of my favorites out of the whole uh, Dragon Age series. You know, the whole DLCs and uh, bonus content or whatever. You know, he's he's really good. Uh, he's got a little, I guess basically infinite physical resistance. I've I've never seen him get knocked down, and uh, he's got a decent amount of health, so he can he can tank pretty well too. And uh, probably most important. Uh, he draws a lot of threat, like, uh, his taunt will pick up pretty much anybody, with with the exception of the Harvester, sometimes the taunt fails. But other than that, uh, Snug. Uh, where do I trade in my Bavard, you know? Did you feel uh, I want Snug. But I felt something brush past me. So here, basically, you know, it's another example of finding a battle on your own terms. If you rush into this room, you will get spammed with hurls. These, you know, it, it might seem like cheap tactics, what I'm doing, you know, blocking corridors and, and sticking back and, and you know, picking them off from a distance. But, you know, you, you kind of got to use these, these cheap tactics. Uh, let's just call them strategies. Let's, let's not call them cheap tactics because the uh, computer on Nightmare there, they don't care about being cheap. You know, <laughs> they'll be cheap all day. They will, they will spam you with hurl and blizzards and chain lightnings all day and uh, basically especially at this level level 20 you know if I was doing this at level 35 yeah it, it would be really cheap but you know in order to survive in order to win these battles this is the kind of thing you gotta do you know basically I'm just uh, I'm just using snug to, to draw the uh, drop threat and uh, keep the attention on him and block the doorway at the same time and uh, anytime they draw anytime uh, excuse me the uh, golems get uh, you know or decide to start throwing uh, stones at my archers. I, I just use a uh, Snug's taunt ability, and uh, it picks them right up. So basically, it's, it's just a time battle. You know, trying to finish them off as quickly as possible before uh, before my two beasts blocking the door die. Because uh, once they die and those uh, those golems come through, you know, it, it it's almost game over. You know, uh, I could have been smarter about it. Maybe maybe if I stealth after they come through or whatever. I can get away and, and pick them off still from another distance, but luckily I don't have to do that. I kill them off just in time. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they're almost done. And y as you can see right there, just got hit with the, uh, with a hurl, so I'm gonna hit taunt with snug and uh, try to set up again. And like I said, computer, <laughs> they love to be cheap, you know, so I should be able to use my tactics as well. Luck lag at that shot off oh, just in time. And uh, this battle's pretty much over.
you know, another thing I gotta say is, I'm not really that good at this game. I, I would say I'm a decent player at this game. But, you know, if you're just getting into this game, and, and you're finding it, you know, a little too difficult, I, I know I did the first time, you know. This is a game that it has a bit of a learning curve, you know. But once you learn, you know, the, the game mechanics and, and how everything works, it, it's really not that difficult. You know, I remember my first time uh, I played this game, I, I just had such, such a hard time. Uh, I remember my first build was a mage caster. And, and I thought that was so cool, you know, I, I gave my mage all the best, well, I, I would say the, the coolest looking spells, you know, like the fireball, and, and you know, I'd give him like grease traps, so he can like the, the grease trap on fire, and all these crazy AoE spells, and I would draw so much threat, and, and you know, everybody would just rush my mage, and, and you know, I'd get so mad, because I, I'd just get killed so quickly, and, and I'd have really poor tactics, you know, I, I wouldn't give my... My squad mates the best equipment. I, I even had my mage, and I had two mages at, the, at a time. You know, you get more in early in the game. And I had both my mages, you know, have secondary weapons. I, I had them have, like, you know, like a sword and a shield. You know, for like in case they get rushed for close, close quarter defense. You know, that's that's just pointless. And it's stupid. And you know, I was so frustrated because they, you know, they wouldn't hit anything. They wouldn't block anything. And you know, trust me, if you're having trouble with this game, just stick with it. You know. Uh, Game manual's got a lot of great information. You can look at some stuff online. And this is this is a fantastic game. I, I think Bioware just went above and beyond with this game right here. And uh, yeah, stick with it because you, you'll love this game in the end. It, it's just you know I'm sure Wings of Redemption can, can vouch for this game. It, it's just uh it's probably like my second favorite game uh, behind the uh, the Mass Effect series, which is another Bioware game by the way. And if you haven't played that, uh, just stop this video right now. Just just stop watching it. Go buy the game. Go play. That, no argument. That, that's just such a great series. But uh, yeah, just just keep playing the game if, if you're having trouble with it. And and for those of you who know how, how good this game is, I mean, uh, you guys know how good this game is. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is um, for the archers, if you turn on accuracy and aim at the same time, you know they get they get extra you know attack bonus and damage and. And, and you know it's really good uh, if you have both of them on the same time, but I think it's better at later stages. You, you know, right here I'm, I'm only level 20, my dexterity is not that high, and, and you know all my stats are, are you know mid range, and it just it it doesn't seem like it makes that much of a difference to sacrifice the attack speed uh, that you lose when you turn on aim uh, versus you know having aim on and, and getting that extra attack bonus. Or uh, I'm not sure exactly what. Aim does, you know. I haven't read all the stats and, and everything about it, but uh, as you see, I'll, I'll have it on for pretty much the rest of this. I do turn it off for the harvester fight, just to see if it makes any difference. You know, if I would do that much more poorly without it, uh, if if attack speed, you know, is is better versus you know aiming and taking your time. And uh, you know what? At this level, I really don't find it to make that much of a difference. You know, but uh, yeah, you know, it, it's. It's something, you know, I have to experiment more with, you know, I haven't played this class that much, like I said, and um, maybe you guys can tell me if it's really worth it at this level, I'm, I'm sure it is, you know, I, I probably turned it off for nothing or whatever. But, uh, yeah, basically the rest of these fights, up until the Harvester, are, uh, they're pretty straightforward, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm not really going to mention, well, th there are some fights coming up, I, I will do some commentary on, uh, or tell you my strategy, but, th but the rest of these fights, you know, they're, they're pretty run-of-the-mill, you know, uh, not too difficult like this, uh, you know, these rapids don't stand a chance. 